operators in javascript operators in javascript are symbols that are used to perform operations on operands operands are the values and variables so let's understand it with one example here if i write 10 plus 20 here plus is an operator and 10 and 20 are operands here is the list of different operators that we will learn in this tutorial arithmetic operators assignment operator comparison operators logical operators and string operators now let's learn arithmetic operators arithmetic operators are used to perform mathematical operations on operands there are multiple arithmetic operators so first one is addition here we will add let sum equal to 5 plus 3 and console.log sum so in the console tab you can see we got this sum which is 8 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 this is the addition operator now let's learn the second one which is subtraction here we will add subtraction it will be x 5 minus 3 it will be x now you can see 2 in the console tab because 5 minus 3 is 2 so this is the subtraction now the next one is multiplication if i write 5 multiply 3 now you can see the result 15 now the next one is division operator for division we use forward slash let's add 15 divided by 3 now you can see the result 5 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 now the next one is reminder or modulus here we will add modulus and to get the modulus we use percent symbol and if i write 17 percent 4 now we will get the modulus 1 you can see when you divide 17 by 4 you will get the reminder 1 which is modulus now the next arithmetic operator is exponentiation when you write 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 5 that is exponential so to calculate the exponential here we will add x 2 double star and 4 so it means we will add 2 into 2 into 2 4 times like this so what will be the result you can see in the console tab 16 so if you write double star it will be exponentiation operator so these are arithmetic operators now let's learn about the assignment operator assignment operators are used to assign values to variables we use equal sign to assign operator for example let x equal to 5 here we are using equal sign which is the assignment operator and we write the value on the right side of the operator so this was the simple assignment operator now we have other assignment operator also like addition assignment so let's see that we have the x value 5 now we will add x plus equal to 3 so if you simply add x equal to 3 it will replace the value in this x variable and the x will become 3 but here we are adding plus it means this 3 will be added in the existing value of this x so the current value of x is 5 and 5 plus 3 will be 8 let's check the output console.log x and in the console tab you can see the value 8 so this was the addition assignment similarly we have the subtraction assignment here we will add minus equal to 3 now we will get the output 2 you can see the output 2 
now we have the multiplication here we will add multiply 3 so this 3 will be multiplied with the current value which is 5 5 into 3 and now you can see the output 15 next one is division assignment you can see this value here after that we have the modulus assignment you can see the modulus 2 now the next one is exponentiation assignment double star equal to 3 it means we are writing 5 to the power 3 and it will be 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 so the result is 125 now let's learn about increment and decrement operators the increment and decrement operators are used to increase or decrease the value of a variable by 1. Suppose the variable value is 5, it will be incremented by 1 and it will become 6 or it will be decremented by 1, it will become 4. The increment operator is plus plus and the decrement operator is minus minus. Increment and decrement operators can be used in two ways, which is prefix and postfix. So let's learn prefix, increment and decrement operator. Let me add one example here. Let a equal to 10. In the next line, I'll add console.log plus plus a. We are adding increment operator before the variable name which is a. Now you can see the output 11 because the value of a has been incremented by 1. Now let me add one more line console.log a. So in this line the value of a is incremented by 1 then it is printed 11 and in this line the current value of a is printed the current value is 11. In this example, operator is placed before the variable and the value of the variable is increased before it is used. Now let's see prefix decrement operator. So for decrement we will add minus minus and in the console tab you can see the output 9 and 9. So it is decreasing the value of a by 1 then it is printed here and in the next line we are printing the current value of a which is 9. Now let's learn about the postfix increment and decrement operator. In the postfix we add the operator after the variable. So if I remove this and add plus plus after a. Now you can see the output. First it is printing 10 and after that 11. Here we are adding a plus plus but still it is printing 10 because a is printed first and after that it is increasing the a value by 1. Now the next time I will print the a value it will display the updated value. Here it is displaying 11. In this example operator is placed after the variable and the value of the variable is used before it is incremented. The same thing will happen with the decrement postfix operator if i run this one you can see current value of a is 10 and first it is printing the value 10 after that it is decreasing the value by 1 and if i print the new value of a it is 9 so this was the increment and decrement operator now let's learn about comparison operator Comparison operators compare two values and give back a boolean value, either true or false. Comparison operators are useful in decision making and loop programming in JavaScript. Let's see some example. If I write like this, it will be the less than operator. It is greater than. This will be less than or equal to. This is greater or equal to. This will be equal check. It will check the equality of two values. It will be inequality or not equal and it will give the flip value of the equal checks. We will understand it with the example also. And this one is the strict equality check. 
it checks the data type also i will also explain it with example and it is the strict inequality or flipped value of the strict equality check now let's understand these comparison operators with example here if i add let a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and here we are adding less than operator you can see console.log a less than b so it will give the result true in this one it is checking a greater than b which is false a is 10 b is 20 so a greater than b is false so it will give the result false now it is a less equal to b so it will be true and this will be false a greater or equal to b it is false because a value is 10 now here we are checking a equal equal b it means a value is equal to b it is not equal it is 10 and 20 so it will be false in this not equal we will get the flipped result of this equality check so the equality check was false so this will be true and this is the strict equality check and this is the strict unequality check so let's print this one you can see the first one is true a less than b true a greater than b false a less than equal to b it is true a greater equal to b it is false a equal to b 10 equal to 20 which is false a not equal to b so it will be true now in the next line we are adding a strict equal so a and b is 10 and 20 it is not equal so we will get false and it will be the opposite result true now let's understand it with other example if i remove this and here if i write like this 10 and it will be 10 so a is 10 as a string and b is 10 as a number now let me add one more thing here console.log a equal equal b now you can see the first one is true why a is 10 b is 10 then it is true now in the next line we are adding a triple equal to b it is giving false why first it will check the data type so in this one the data type is a string and the data type is number in the b variable then it is different so it is not equal so that's why it is giving false and the last one is giving true because it will give the flipped value of this false our next topic is logical operators logical operators perform logical operations like and or not for logical and we use this symbol for logical or we use this symbol and for logical not we use this exclamation symbol so let's learn about the logical and logical and evaluate operands and return true only if all are true in this line you can see the first condition is true and the second is true and here we are adding logical and operator so both are true that's why the result will be true now in this one the first one is true second one is false so both conditions are not true that's why it is false here also one of the condition is false it is false here both conditions are false that's why it is false only when both conditions are true then only the result will be true now let's understand logical and operator with one example here i have added let x equal to 5 and y equal to 10 and i am adding x greater than 0 so this condition is true x is obviously greater than 0 y is also greater than 0 then the first condition is true second is also true then the result will be true you can see the first result is true now in the second condition you can see x greater than 0 which is true y less than 0 which is false 10 less than 0 is false right then one of the condition is false that's why the result is false now in the third one x less than 0 which is false then the result will be false and in the last one 
5 less than 0 is false and y is equal to 10 which is 10 less than 0 which is false. So both conditions are false that's why the logic result is false. So this was the logical and. Now let's learn about the logical or. Logical or returns true if one of the multiple operands is true. If any one operands is true then it will return true. So here you can see the first one is true and second one is true. So the output will be true. First one is true, second is false, uh, still the output is true. First one is false, second is true, then the output is true. In the last one, first condition is false and second condition is also false, then the result will be false. So if all operands are false, then the output will be false and if any one of the operand is true, the result will be true. Now let's understand this logical OR with one example. Here we have the a value 5, b value 10 and a greater than 0, true, b greater than 0, true. So both conditions are true, then result will be true. Now here the first one is true, this is false, then still it is true. It is false, it is true, then still it is true. Now in the last one, first one is false, second one is false. So both operands are false. So the result is false. So this is the logical OR operator. Now let's learn about the logical NOT. Logical NOT converts operator to boolean and return flipped value. Let's understand it with one example. If I write let yes is equal to true, let no equal to false we are adding two variable yes and no and yes is true no is false and if i try to print not yes not operator and yes then it will give the flipped result earlier it was true now it will display false you can see the first one is false here in the second one we are adding not no so the no value is false so the not no will be true you can see the not no is true so this is the logical not operator our next topic is javascript string operators in javascript you can also use plus operator to concatenate or join two or more strings let me explain this with one example if i write console.log and in this one in this one we will add two strings let me add hello plus world and let's see the console tab you can see hello world is printed here if you need one space we will add it here now you can see it is printed with one space hello world we can join this string using the addition assignment operator also. Let's see another example. If I write let a equal to javascript and in the next line I will add a addition assignment operator plus equal to and here we will add another text so let's add a space tutorial in the current value of a the current value is javascript and in this javascript it will add this tutorial let's print it in the console you can see this text javascript tutorial is printed in this console tab so this is how you can join or concatenate strings in javascript using the plus operator so this was the string operator in javascript there is one more operator in javascript which is bitwise operator bitwise operators are rarely used in everyday programming that's why we will skip this one our next topic is operator precedence Operator precedence in JavaScript determines the order in which operators are passed concerning each other. Let me take one example. 
let result equal to 2 plus 3 multiply by 4. So what will be the output here? If you add 2 plus 3 it will be 5 and 5 multiply by 4 it will be 20. So this will be output or it will be 4 multiply by 3 12 plus 2 equal to 14. So which is the correct answer? So the correct value is 14. Let me show this result in console tab. Now in the console tab you can see the output 14. Why? Because the 3 multiply by 4 is performing first and after that it is adding 2. So why multiplication is performed before addition? It is because of the operator's precedence value. In this table you can see the precedence of multiplication and precedence of addition. So the higher precedence is performed first. That's why it is multiplying 3 and 4 after that it is adding 2 and the result is 14. So this was operator precedence. Now let's learn about operator associativity. Operator associativity in JavaScript defines the order in which operators of the same precedence are evaluated. There are two type of operator associativity left to right, right to left. In this table you can see the operator name and their associativity. Now let's learn about the left to right associativity. In left to right associativity, operators are evaluated from left to right. Let's take one example. If I add let result is equal to 4 minus 2 minus 1. In this example, only subtraction operator is used and its associativity is left to right as you can see in this table. The expression 4 minus 2 minus 4 is evaluated from left to right. First, 4 minus 2 will be evaluated and it will give the result 2. Then, 2 minus 1 will be evaluated and it will give the result 1. So let's check the result in the console tab. You can see the result 1. So this was left to right associativity. Now let's learn about the right to left associativity. In right to left associativity, operators are evaluated from right to left. For example, let result equal to 2 exponentiation 3 exponentiation 2. In this example, only exponentiation operator is used and its associativity is from right to left as you can see in this table. First. 3 exponentiation 2 is calculated resulting in 9. Then 2 exponentiation 9 is evaluated and giving the result 512. So let's see the result in the console tab. Here if I write log result you can see the result 512. So this was all about the JavaScript operators. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Great Stack to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.